Okay, today I'm going to be putting a drone in my vacuum chamber and showing you the difference between propeller-based flight and rocket-based flight. And then after the drone, I'm going to be putting a balloon in the vacuum chamber that will act as my rocket to show how rocket flight is different than propeller-based flight. This is my drone I bought on Amazon. So how a drone flies, obviously, is that those propellers spin, it creates lower pressure on top, higher on the bottom, and it pushes the drone up. But a key feature of that is that you actually need air to make that happen. So let's see what would happen if we take all the air out of the chamber. Do you think the drone would still be able to fly? Let's check. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the vacuum pump, and then I'm going to fly it as I pump out the air, and let's see if it goes down as the air is getting pumped out. Okay, drone in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm just gonna let it hover there. About negative 0.5 atmospheres. I'm having to throttle up more and more and more. Negative 0.8 atmospheres. Look, it's full throttle, it can't even get off the ground now. <laughs> I can't do anything. Okay, so, you can see the propeller spin. It's essentially just vibrating on the ground right now. And what's cool is look how long those blades spin after I turn it off. Turn it off, it just barely stopped because there's no air resistance. Okay, now I'm going to slowly increase the pressure and see if we can get it to fly. So I'm gonna have it on full throttle. Full throttle, I'm gonna let in some air. See, now it has no problem. Oh, it's at the top now. See, now I got a down throttle. Flying all over the place. So a rocket moves similar to this balloon. When I open it, it's going to expel air out the back and push the balloon forward. Okay, so I've lowered it to about the same air pressure that the drone couldn't fly in. So now I'm gonna remove the magnets and see if the balloon flies. Three, two, one. Look at that. So what's cool about that is what that means is it doesn't matter whether you fly a rocket in the atmosphere or outside of the atmosphere. It'll still fly, it'll still go forward. When the first rockets were being built and nobody had ever gone into outer space before, Scientists knew, due to physics, that the rocket should still be able to shoot forward in space, but there's never been any actual proof that it could actually work, so they were actually just guessing and hoping that it would actually work in space. And it did, because physics work. Hey, thanks for watching another episode. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button, and you can give me suggestions for what you'd like to see crushed in the hydraulic press or in my vacuum chamber, and we'll see you next time.